It wasn't until I was an adult that my dad's memories of the war began to spill out. I recall him saying, you don't know stress until you've been in a bomber being shot at and your plane is on fire. But amidst the horrors, there were brighter memories of falling in love with a beautiful British woman and of a Halifax pier where both their lives changed forever. My name is Jan Napier. My father, J.P. LeBlanc, served in the Royal Canadian Air Force during the Second World War. My mother, Trudy LeBlanc, served in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, and she was a war bride. To rediscover their story, I've come to the place where my family's history and Canadian history intersect, Pier 21 in Halifax. It's where my mother took her first steps on Canadian soil in 1946, along with thousands of women like her. And it's the same spot where my father set out for the European Front four years earlier on the HMS Queen Elizabeth. Dad flew 32 missions in the skies over Europe with the 102 Squadron in the RAF Bomber Command. While stationed at Pocklington Air Base in England, he met airwoman Trudy Tansy at the accounts office. I can imagine him picking up his pay and catching her eye. Their love began there. Nearly half of those airmen were killed. But when the war ended, Dad had survived. And he returned to Pier 21. Mum followed months later, but she wasn't alone. My mother was one of 44,000 European women, mostly from the United Kingdom and the Netherlands, who married Canadian servicemen after the war. Dubbed the War Brides, they left their homes behind to start new lives in Canada. As her ship docked, Mum saw Dad standing below, waving and throwing his hat in the air. I can imagine many hats being thrown into the air as the War Brides arrived on this pier. But it wasn't only their lives that were transformed here. Between 1928 and 1971, nearly one million people immigrated to Canada through Pier 21. Eventually, the pier sat empty. Yet Dad saw the great potential there to commemorate these immigrant stories. It became his life's mission to ensure that the pier was recognized as an important piece of Canadian history. To honor its legacy, he founded the Pier 21 Society and in 1999, Pier 21 was reopened as a national historic site, the Pier 21 Museum. Visiting the museum always reconnects me with my parents' stories. Since their passing, I wish I had asked many more questions. The War Bride's records have long been kept by the British government. But recently, Ancestry.ca has indexed and made them easily searchable for the first time. So I've returned to Pier 21 to speak with War Brides expert Carrie Ann Smith to see what more I can uncover. So this is the reason that I wanted you to come down today. Ancestry just indexed the UK and Ireland outward passenger list from 1890 all the way up to 1960. Wow. So you know what's in there. 1946, when your mom and all the war brides came. Crazy. Wow. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, there she is. And that's your dad, yeah. F slash O for yeah, flying, flying officer. officer. Isn't it great? That is amazing. And then once I had the address she lived in in England and the address she was going to in New Brunswick, I could find all mm. kinds of other things, the family and all the census records. Wow. I found wow. your grandparents marriage records and your great-grandparents' marriage records. This is and all through Ancestry.ca yeah. website. You just find the one record yeah. and it gives you the one clue and then the next one gives you the next clue and the next one gives you the next clue. Do you have any pictures of these places? I do. I thought you might be interested in I seeing where she... I definitely want to see where she came from. This was the family home, which that would have been the one Yeah, old, old Halifax, Halifax Road. Road. I can't tell if it's it a town nice. Goes. Yeah, now we know um, the exact address. Yeah. We can go on Google Earth and see what it looks like today. And I assume this was after the wedding, maybe just before they left, in mm -hmm. front of the house. Mm -hmm. And this I came across uh, looking at the old photos, which, um, as I say, Mum was in the Air Force, and I never knew what her rank was, and there it is, leading aircraft woman. She was in the pay account's oh, office. Amazing. Yeah. So I have something else. Love letters. So many. 
45 and 46, they were apart for so long, wow. they wrote to each other every day. These are the letters from my dad to mom that she saved. Yeah. Nice. 22. There it is. On yeah. Halifax Road again. Oh, is that something? He wrote Halifax so Old Road. So I did have that address and I didn't even clue into it. You're a better detective than me. It's amazing. <laughs> a you much better a detective movie, than me. A whole movie in these letters. <laughs> When I'm here, I think of the words from my father's poem, Ode to Pier 21, written just a few years before the museum was founded. The torpedoed, refugees from tyranny, oppression and revolutions, displaced peoples. Each sought land, hope, harmony, liberty. War brides, I greeted them all. Ships of all descriptions conquered the ocean. In Halifax Harbor, Calm waters hugged their keels, soothing the spirit of their passengers, pouring from them, they peopled the land.